Noah got to pull his first snake clutch in this video, which I'm pretty excited about showing you. Uh, if you're in South Africa, well, shout out to you, bro. I got this shirt from one of my favorite YouTubers, uh, Dan Mace, makes some really awesome videos, a really talented filmmaker. I'll put the link down in the description if you guys want to check it out. And uh, I'm not really a snake breeder. I don't consider myself a snake breeder. I do breed snakes, but it's not how I make my living. It's just a technical thing. It's my own opinion. If you don't make a living at it, you're not technically a snake breeder, at least not by professional trade. My reason for saying that is that I'm gonna show you some techniques that I do that I think work, and who knows if I'll be doing these same techniques next year. Maybe, maybe not. I try to do what works, but I hope that maybe it helps you out a little bit if you are looking to breed snakes and artificially incubate your clutches. Could be some helpful pointers in here, and then also you get to see a, a very first timer do it, so enjoy. What are the eggs? Where are the eggs? Oh. What are the eggs, Daddy? Eggs are sitting on eggs. <laughs> you want to be okay? <laughs> <Got away. laughs> Top of the morning, friends and family. Welcome to what would usually be Music Monday, but I'm not sure if we're going to do any music today. Last, last Monday's music video was pretty epic. I think it was epic enough to maybe cover a whole month of Music Mondays. There's a link right here if you missed it last Monday. You want to go check it out. Right here, check out that link. And this Monday, we're going to be pulling some eggs. So Hillary's going to take over the camera. <laughs> This is going to be the first clutch of 2019 for us. This is clutch 1901 and she's a super fire and she was bred to Bullwinkle up here. Here, let's take a look at dad first actually. So dad is a gorgeous, gorgeous snake. He He's possibly one of the most beautiful snakes here, actually. I'm really, I've really wanted for a while to pass his genetics on to offspring, so I'm really happy that he's finally sired a clutch. This is the first clutch that he sired here. His name's uh, Bullwinkle Super Pastel Lesser. And as you can see, you can zoom on that. Okay. As you can see, he is just an amazingly stunning snake. And then mom being a super fire, all the babies are gonna be at least fireflies and firefly lesser. So we're gonna get, on average, 50% fireflies and 50% firefly lessers. Would one of you boys like to try and take the snake's eggs from the snake? What? You guys aren't paying any attention? If you guys are gonna be down here, you have to be paying attention to what's going on in the room, okay? Are you guys ready to pay attention to the room or should daddy do this by himself? Uh, we're ready to pay attention. Okay. She's a good mama. You can see she's kicked out two slugs already. So she had two slugs in there. And yeah, here, I'll bring it over here, okay? Are those eggs in there? Okay. What are you doing? They're weird. What are you doing? <laughs> but I like the cup. Yeah. So, which one, does one of you guys want to take her off the eggs? Is that an egg? That's a, this is a slug. So this, you guys can see, is a slug. I'm sure some, many of you watched egg, egg videos before and whatnot, but just so you can see, it's very yellow and very small compared to a real egg, so it's obvious this is this egg's no good. This is no good. So a couple of slugs. She's a good mom. She knows that they weren't good. She kicked them out. Which one of you guys wants to take the snake off the eggs? I do. I do. Oh, you both do, huh? Well, okay, let's let, uh, 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 let me tell you what to do. So mm -hmm. Noah. Okay, so I'm gonna let we'll let Noah pull them off the eggs. So neither of you guys have ever done this, so we'll let Noah go first since he's the oldest. And Noah, you can take you can take her off the eggs, and then Eli, you can put her away. Okay. Okay. So Noah, just, I want, what I want you to do is just be very gentle and very careful. No, no, you need to take her off the front first. You need to come down here. Unwrap her. Take two hands. You need two hands. What, why did she make She's that just breathing. Face? If you're going to be scared, then I'm going to let Eli do it. I know. I'm just saying. Just You, you just need to gently take, unwrap her. Two hands, please. Two hands. No, with your other hand. And then just unwrap her from the eggs. Okay, now grab her other part of her body yep, a little don't lower. Don't move the eggs. Try to let the eggs stay still. Okay? Go ahead, you can pick her up, she's fine. If she was gonna bite you, she would've bit you already, I promise. Get a good grip on her. There you go, so nice. what I'll do is I'll just double check. I can see that she's pretty much empty, but I'll just do a quick check and make sure she doesn't have any eggs or slugs left in her. <laughs> yep, no, she got them all out. Not too bad for a first time mama. Six good, don't, Eli, don't, don't move around, please. 
Oh, yeah, oh, comes the moon. So, <laughs> moon, do you want to put the snakey back? <laughs> I didn't know that snake eggs are soft. Yeah, they're definitely very soft. Um, so who, who, who wants to put snakey back into a new cage? Eli. Eli? I don't want It's right over, right over there. You don't want to put her back? Okay, no, you can put it back. So, go ahead, take her. Hold her. But don't be afraid of her. What are you doing? She's just a snake. Okay. <laughs> just now, go. Oh, no, 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 no. New cage. New, new cage. cage. Come over here, honey. What is in here? Which one? The one without a label? Yeah. What is in here? Hello. Okay, no, 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 no. So what I, what I do is I have a clean cage ready to go. And actually, first no, we're going we're gonna to wash her off a little bit first. And then uh, maybe we'll pick up these eggs so that the baby girl doesn't yeah. eat them for breakfast. <laughs> What baby girl? <laughs> this baby girl. Hey, hey. Let's get those out of your reach, Mushi. <laughs> she <sighs> might really need them for real. Those are pretty eggs. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say that. <laughs> your sink's right behind. Paper towels. <laughs> yeah, my your sink's, sink's right behind. Oh, thanks, Noah. <laughs> so what I like to do is take one drop of dish soap, like literally one tiny drop, maybe even less soap. I don't even really want to see too many bubbles. Just like a very, the lightest, lightest soap water mixture I can, basically. Just have a, a hint of soap in there, just a hint of soap. And I'll soak a paper towel with it, and I'll give her a nice, good wipe down, and try to give her a nice, good wipe down, and try to clean off all that egg smell because we want mom to go right back to eating ideally and get her out of that mode of wanting to incubate eggs so if we can get her nice and clean and get that egg scent off of her then the higher chance we'll have to get her out of incubation mode since we're going to be incubating the eggs for her and have her go right back to food and that's also why we put her back into a fresh clean cage that she wasn't in before with new substrate fresh water completely clean and then we'll take a completely clean soap free paper towel with a little bit of wet moisture to it and give her another wipe just to get any potential soap residue off and put her back in her fresh cage. And next time we do feeding, we'll see if, she'll want, if she wants to take some food on the next feeding. And if everything was done right there, then a high chance that she will. <laughs> the cleanest, freshest water it used to be. The cleanest, freshest. Okay, I'm gonna turn the lights off. So the embryos should all be on top since this is how they were laid by mom. And you can see right here, we got the, can you see that? Yeah. This little circle yeah. here, this little air sac, mm -hmm. right on top where the embryo is. And so if mom did her, a perfect job, then all of those will be kind of on top. You got another one kind of on top over here. This one's sitting on top over here. When will they hatch? In about 55 days. Are those really slugs? Like a sea slug? So mom did a perfect job laying them all out and they're all... <laughs> mom did a perfect job laying them. They're all face up the right way. And we got a, we got an unhappy customer over there. This is my easy egg setup. It's just a, I'll put a link right here for how to make this tub and all the, the way it's made. The only difference... Hey, <laughs> interrupting cow. So the only difference between this and the egg setup video I'm gonna show you right here is uh, I started using perlite and you want to make sure if you're using perlite you get the 100% perlite because if there's any additives it could be really bad for the eggs so you need to make sure it's 100% perlite if you're using perlite in your substrate and then I'm just going to cover this with a piece of press and seal cover it up and uh, put it in the incubator and previously you've used toothpicks uh, yeah I have used toothpicks but since these are all stuck together nicely mm -hmm. there's very little chance of them rolling around so I'm not going to use my toothpicks <laughs> sometimes I have these plastic toothpicks if I have to end up separating some of the clutch out and have an egg separate I'll put the toothpicks in to just keep them from rolling around because you want that embryo to stay up on top otherwise it's going to drown inside the egg that's basically it cover it with the press and seal and stick it in my incubator over there and let it go and then in about you know 55 to 60 days or so, we should see some little baby snakes come pipping out and we'll have beautiful fireflies and firefly lessers. And I know there's a lot of you guys that have been wanting to get a triple B snake, but you're kind of waiting for, you know, you don't want to spend a ton of money or you don't, we're not trying to get necessarily a, an animal that's like investment animal type because of genetics. So this will be a perfect opportunity for any of you guys because 
it, fireflies and firefly lessers are not super uncommon snakes. Um, but, they, <laughs> but they are beautiful and they will be beautiful. Just like this little moon right here. Huh? <laughs> That's like a booty moon. <laughs> Let me see that camera, mommies. <laughs> but I'm doing so good. Oh yeah, well I'll trade you. I'll trade you. But I don't know if I want that camera. <laughs> hey Noah. What do you know? I know. Snake eggs. What about snake eggs? Well, dinosaur eggs. Dinosaur eggs? And what about dinosaur eggs? Uh, that bear. Focus, stop picking your nose. That bear. White. All eggs are white. Really? All eggs are white? Mm hmm Hmm. Well, not all eggs, but most eggs. And dinos, if it's a carnivore egg, it might be a different color than a herbivore egg. And that's all I know. <laughs> Do you know that or are you just speculating? I'm just speculating. <laughs> hey, Eli. What do you know about hitting your head on the corner of that tray right there? Well... Have you done that before? Yeah. <laughs> well, what do you know? I know. Snakes. What about snakes? That they have white eggs and that's what I know. <laughs> You're such a dunk dunk. <laughs> Obviously there wasn't really any music this Music Monday, so I will guess it wasn't technically a Music Monday, was it? But I thought maybe you guys would enjoy this anyway. Hopefully you did. Uh, make sure you click subscribe and hit the notifications so you know when we go live, which is going to be tomorrow night, and we'll see you tomorrow on the live stream. Later! That guy that, that's around that just grabs oh! without asking. He eats Even the ice open. cream out of the, the your friger, freezer without asking. <laughs> he drinks all your, your milk in your refrigerator. Without asking, <laughs> he's just, you know.